when we're thinking about melanoma or skin cancer in general, the most important person on that skin cancer screening team is you, the patient. You know your body better than anyone else does. You know the spots that you've had since you're two, you were two years old and you know which ones are new. Um, you know the way that those spots have been acting better than we do when we're looking at it. So it's really important when you come in for a skin cancer screening that you point out the spots that you're worried about. Even if they look normal, I want to know, are they new? Have they been changing in any way? Now when we're thinking about melanoma, you, you've probably heard about the A, B, C, Ds and possibly the E's of melanoma. Uh, a stands for asymmetry. Basically, if you took a line and put it right down the middle of that mold, does one side look different than the other side? B is for border, and that basically means are the borders irregular? Does it have a scalloped border? You know, a normal mold will typically just have a perfectly round or, a, or an even textured border. If you see border irregularities, we want to know about those. C stands for color. Has the color changed? And that doesn't necessarily always mean darker. If you had a mold that was darkly pigmented that suddenly becomes lighter or even white inside of it, we want to know about that. D stands for diameter. Uh, molds that are over six millimeters in diameter are a little more concerning than moles that are less than six millimeters in diameter. Um, and E stands for everything else. Any other change to that mold, does it break open and bleed? Does it itch? Does it hurt? Is it doing things that other spots in your body aren't doing? Those are all important pieces of information that should motivate you to call your doctor and have that spot looked at.